Elizabeth, Age of Steam Victoria, and Varangian Herald are the rulers of England in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Also known as the Virgin Queen, Elizabeth of Tudor transformed England from a muddy rock on the edge of the world into one of the most powerful empires of the modern age. Elizabeth's agenda is trade agreement, which influences her to prefer civilizations to trade with her. Her unique leader ability is Drake's Legacy, which increases her trade route capacity by two after acquiring her first great admiral. She also receives extra gold from city-state trade routes and extra yields from plundering trade routes. Would you like a trade agreement with England? As Elizabeth, build a Royal Navy dockyard in every city, then cover the corners of the globe with trade routes to buy her way to any victory type. While Elizabeth ruled England during the Elizabethan era, Age of Steam Victoria ruled England during the Victorian era. The longest ruling British monarch in history, Victoria was instrumental in further spreading the British Empire to the far-flung reaches of the globe. Age of Steam Victoria's agenda is Industrial Revolution, which influences her to prefer civilizations that focus on production. Her unique leader ability is Age of Steam, which grants her extra production for every building in an industrial zone, as well as extra production for strategic resources. Rush Apprenticeship to get Victoria's abilities up and running, then use her extra production to build an armada fit for a queen. If an early domination victory doesn't pan out, leverage your extra production from England's Workshop of the World to build a ship to the stars for a science victory. Victoria and Elizabeth may be England's most famous monarchs, but Varangian Harold never actually ruled England. Varangian was a term given to the Norse mercenaries of Constantinople, where Harold Hardrada and his men worked before claiming the English throne in 1066. His agenda is Harold Saga, which influences him to prefer civs that ally with city-states. Varangian Herald's unique leader ability is Varangian Guard, which grants a major discount to levying units. These units can generate culture, science, and faith from defeating enemy units. It's a mercenary's life for Varangian Herald. Use Norway's NAR ability to scout for city-states early for the extra influence, then recruit them against your foes to generate the extra resources your home cities might struggle to produce. Will your reign be happy and glorious? How will you rule England in Civilization VI?